Okay, you come across a patient um, in the ER who has a chest tube. Okay. Just... So they should already have the dry atrium hooked up. It should be filled with fluid. And this is the water, the wet atrium, not the dry atrium. So if it does get tipped over, uh, water can diffuse into the blood and mess with our setting. But it should have water. It should have a blue fluid solution that should be to that dotted line. Um, they have a suction port and they have a chest tube port and they have lights so if they're dry they have to stay in an upright position is not as important but if they're wet they have to stay in the upright position um, and chest tube make sure your chest tube is secured in the patient and it is a spiral wrap and a spiral wrap backwards so there's two um, onto the chest tube Up to suction, this is doctor's orders on what he wants to suction at. Um, uh, we have it up to continuous suction, and we usually want about 15 on it. 10 to 15 is usually where they'll ask for, but like I said, it's doctor's orders on where they do it. Uh, some of these have a check mark, and as long as you have a check mark, you show you have suction onto your machine. Um, there is another lower port which is strictly fluid withdraw port. It is not for really transport or anything that we can hook up to. That is only for them to take their fluid levels down in the atrium. Um, normal breath, we should see a fluctuation in the water levels here. It is normal with breath, but we should not see constant bubbling. If we see constant bubbling, that means we have a leak and our integrity is wrong. Um, so I check, um, make sure that this is plugged in good, this is taped. Um, I have my occlusive seal on my chest tube, and my chest tube is secure if I have constant bubbling. Uh, another thing that can cause constant bubbling is if this gets cracked. Anywhere in this, uh, sometimes in transport it gets smashed or so forth. It's more so the dry atrium versus the wet, but the dries. Uh, you can lay them down so people will put them under the head of the bed, lower the head of the bed, uh, crack this. Once you get a crack in this, you can do. A quick resolve for that is take your Vaseline or your, your, your gauze that you use for your ultrasound, rub it through the crack and cover it up and hopefully you can get to the facility because we do not carry these as a deal. Um, I worry more about stopping the little bubbling and just letting the bubbling happen if we have to, as long as we know that we can stop the bubbling and we don't have a faulty tubing or somewhere that got pinched or cut. Um, last ditch effort, uh, we can always shut it off and go back to bagging the patient if we need to. All right. Um, measurement of fluids, this, is, this side is not drained, this side should stay and this side should be the collection of fluids. Okay.